the Amy, um, not an easy task. Um, but we thank you for entrusting us to leave the prayer tonight. Amen. And first, before I even go ahead, I wanted to give a testimony about answered prayer. Um, you know, uh, Sister Bessie West, who used to be a prayer, part of her prayer team, uh, her daughter Joanne uh, she was in church maybe like two months ago. And I was speaking to her after church and I was telling her I was going on this trip. And I was telling her about the finance. And she said, well, come, let's pray. And so we prayed about, you know, the, that I get enough finance and everything went, goes okay. So last Saturday I saw her and she said, well, tell me what happened. I said, you can't believe it. Mm -hmm. I said that the trip was, I paid quarter of the amount wow. for the trip that I was going on. And so Amazing. she said she's going to Ghana in December. She said, well, let's pray right in the parking lot. So let us pray for my trip. So we prayed <laughs> on Saturday for her trip. So I'm praying to hear her testimony. So God do answer prayer and we thank Amen. you for that. Um, our topic tonight is interceding for the family and our scripture intercession for families and our scripture is coming from Joshua 24 15 and so I'm going to read it from the King James version and it says and if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yes. I am going to read. I want to highlight the instruction. Hold on. I'm going to read from Joshua 1, verses 1 through 9. And then I'm going to read Deuteronomy 6, 1 through 15. So for those who possibly don't know the story, um, please read the book of Joshua and the story of Moses and the deliverance of the Israelites um, in the Bible. So Joshua 1, and this is going to be read from the New uh, Living Translation. So it says, after the, the death of Moses, the Lord's servant, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, he said, Moses, my servant, is dead. Therefore, the time has come for you to lead these people, the Israelites, across the Jordan River into the land I am giving them. I promise you that I promise you what I promised Moses. Wherever you set foot, you will be on the land I have given you. From the Negev wilderness in the south to the Lebanon mountains in the north, from the Euphrates River in the east to the Mediterranean Sea in the west, including all the land of the Hittites. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live, for I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not fail you or abandon you. He said, be strong and courageous, for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I swore to their ancestors I would give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And I want to reference um, verse 7. He said, be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave to you. So what are those instructions? These instructions was written in Deuteronomy 6. And I'm going to read that from the New Living um, Translation also. So this is Moses speaking to the Israelites. He said, these are the commands, decrees, and regulation that the Lord your God commanded me to teach you. You must obey them in the land you are about to enter and occupy. And you and your children and grandchildren, 
must fear the Lord your God as long as you live. If you obey all his decrees and commands, you will enjoy a long life. Listen closely, Israel, and be careful to obey. Then all will go well with you, and you will have many children in the land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, promised you. Listen, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. And you must commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these commands that I'm giving you today. Repeat them again and again to your children. Hmm. Talk about them when you're at home and when you're on the road, when you're going to bed and when you're getting up. Tie them to your hands and wear them on your forehead as reminders. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. The Lord your God will soon bring you into the land he swore to give you when he, make, when he made a vow to your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It is a land with large, prosperous cities that you did not build. The houses will be richly stocked with goods you did not produce. You will draw water from cisterns you did not dig, and you will eat from vineyards and olive trees you did not plant. When you have eaten your fill in the land, be careful not to let the Lord who rescued you from slavery in the land of Egypt. You must fear the Lord your God and serve him. When you take an oath, you must use only his name. You must not worship any of the gods of neighbor, neighboring nations. And the, this is verse 15, this is the last one. For the Lord your God who lives among you is a jealous God. His mm -hmm. anger will flare up against you and you will and he will wipe you from the face of the earth. Amen. Amen. So Amen. Um, when we go back up to Joshua 24, Joshua was 100 years old, and he was getting ready to die. So Joshua had gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem and called for the elders and the leaders and the judges and the officers. He gave them a short history lesson of how they were, how they got over and all the, all the promises that God had now fulfilled. They were now living in the land of milk and honey. He reminded them of God's faithfulness. And the question was, are they going to respond faithfully to God in return? There were only two choices, no middle ground or in between. And the same goes for us today. Are we going to serve the true and living God or serve foreign gods? Yeah. Joshua understood the challenge of choice. It's either faithfulness and obedience or unfaithfulness and disobedience, which we all face in the daily routines of this life. The Lord stands alone and other religion cannot be incorporated with devotion to the Lord. As God said in the first commandment, you shall have no other gods before me. The choice is to all of us, which God, which God are we going to serve? Matthew 6, 24 says, no one can serve two masters. Either you will, have, you will hate one, hate the one, and love the other. So the choice is ours. So as we go, and so God, as we come praying to you, First, God, we want to say, ask for your forgiveness for making the choices that was not, were not pleasing to you. Yes, yes. As we come interceding for the family, first help us to remember in Hebrews 4 and 13 that nothing in all creation is hidden from God. Yes. Everything is naked and exposed yes. before his eyes. And he's the one who we are all accountable to. You reminded us in Genesis 1 that he created the heavens and the earth. And then you said you created God, you created man in your own image, male and female, not pronoun, but male and female. Yeah. And then you gave us the blueprint for the family. You, Lord, instituted the bond of holy matrimony. Yes. And you said in nine, Matthew 19 and 5, 
It states, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and join to his wife and they shall become one. In Ephesians 5, you told the husbands to love their wives just like Christ loved the church. And then you told the wives to love and respect their husband. And then you had something for the children also. You said in Ephesians 6, children honor your father and your mother, which is the first mm -hmm. commandment with promise that it may be well with you. And you will have a long life on this earth. So. Your mother take care of you or your parents take care of you when you're young. When they get old, you take care of them also. And then, God, we ask asking for forgiveness within the family. Yes, Fathers and son, mother and daughters, mother-in-law and daughter-in-law, siblings. Help us to yes. stop keeping records of wrong. Help us to communicate with kindness and respect and restore relationships that have been broken. Yes. We ask you, dear God, to provide our needs. Then we pray for our young people who are off to college, that they're faced with all these choices, yes. going to classes, completing assignments, yes. partying, and the list of temptation goes on. You know, Mother, um, uh, Brother Quayley and I was having a discussion about Howard, and he said there's like 10 female to one male. So God, we pray for our young men when they're faced with these choices, Help them to know that choices have consequences. Yes. So help them, God, to make the right the right choice. Help them, Lord. We pray for parents to make it a priority, not just to take their children to school each day, but then come Sunday morning, there's excuses. We don't have time to go to church. So, God, we pray that they make the right choice in yes. bringing their kids to church yes. and to Sunday school. When they buy them that iPhone, help them to buy them a Bible. The Yam was speaking about yeah. Proverbs and the Man. Book of Wisdom. So they can learn that Book of Wisdom. Because at the end, or legacy, as Joshua was saying, as for me and my house, not yeah. all of us can say that. He said, yeah. as for me and my house, yes. we will serve the Lord. Yes. Mother Amy, to God be the glory. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Mother Amy. Mother Amy. Well, she's froze. So. Hmm. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now we don't see you. Now we don't hear you. Oh. 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 Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. 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 No. You froze. Oh my God. I back to see that. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and close out. Have someone else close out since uh, Mother Amy is having technical problems. Amen. Uh, we are praying about uh, interceding for the family, for families. If you have any family prayer requests, please put them in the chat right now. Or if you are on Facebook, if you have any prayer requests regarding family, family relationships, um, wayward children or children who are doing well, you want the Lord to keep them on the right path. Grandchildren. Come on and put those names in the chat. And we're about to lift up those names of our family members. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I see names starting to come in the chat. You want somebody to pray for your family member. I'm sure everyone in your family is not all right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Mother Amy, are you able to jump in? 
in that chat. We've come here together. You're muted. We can't hear you, Mother Amy. We've come here together to agree in prayer. Thank you, thank you. Putting those names in faith. Trusting and agreeing. Hallelujah. We thank God for that powerful scripture, the scriptures that Mother Alvary read. And they serve as a foundation for our families. Oh God, amen. All right. Amen. Amen. I can, I can jump in and pray pray us out. All right, Pastor, go ahead. Okay. Eternal God, we come thanking you and praising you for your glory. Thank you. For your goodness and compassion, God. Thank um, you, Jesus. You, we thank you for um, the prayers of the righteous because your word reminds us that they availeth much. Yes. And, and so, God, we come on behalf of families tonight. Yes. Something that most if not all of us have mm -hmm. we have yeah. families we have mm -hmm. siblings we have children we have grandchildren mm -hmm. we have fathers and mothers Lord. husbands have wives and wives have husbands mm -hmm. we have cousins we have those who aren't biologically family but because of the love that we share they are family Yes. So, God, as the names are being typed right now, mm. so many names yes, that I cannot call them all, but God, yes. we are grateful yes. that you see every request that is being yes. typed. Yes, in the name of so Every request that is on the heart and on the mind. Yes. So, God, in the name of Jesus, we lift these families up to you. Yes, God. Yes, I see mothers typing the names of their children and their yes. grandchildren. Hallelujah. I see individuals just typing to pray for their entire family. Yes, God. I, I see individuals talking about conflict in their family. My Lord. God, for all of these requests, God, we know that you are able. Yes, in the name of Jesus. exceedingly yes. and abundantly. Above all we can ask or think. Thank Lord, you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, move, move on Jesus. behalf of our family. Yes, Reconcile Lord. relationships that are broken. In the name uh, of Jesus. Relationships that are doing well but could be better. My Lord. God, for those who are not speaking, Lord God, mm -hmm. please redeem, um, yes. reconcile, restore. Move mm -hmm. on hearts, Lord God. Yes. yes. Soften yes. hearts so yes. that restore. we may forgive one another. Yes, mm. God. God, for family that we are expecting but have not arrived yet, Lord God, mm -hmm. we pray that you would grant safe births. Um, Lord Thank God, in the, name of, in the name of Jesus, Lord yes. God, we love you. We love Hallelujah. you, God, because you have adopted us into your family. Yes, Lord. Yes, God, because we are all adopted sons and daughters, we are Thank all you, families. Jesus. And so, God, as we look at each other on this Zoom screen, God, yes. we see sisters, we see brothers. We yes. see friends and loved ones, Lord God. Yes. We pray for the Ward family tonight. In yes, the name, in the name of, Jesus. of Jesus. We Thank pray, you, God, Jesus. that you would strengthen us. Strengthen us, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord God, and make us stronger. Yes. We pray, God, that you would give us eyes to see. Hallelujah. To yes. hear yes. what you have for your church. Yes. We pray, God, for relationships within our church family. Yes. Yes. Strain. Yeah. God, mm -hmm. please strengthen them in the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Down all the strongholds, Lord, that mm -hmm. will prevent us from accomplishing your will for us on the in the kingdom of earth, Lord God. We yes. pray, God, that you will bless us and keep us. Yes. Mm -hmm. We pray for children that are away at colleges now, experiencing right. things yes. that they have never experienced before. My Lord. The freedom to be able to go and come, the freedom yes. to be able to do things without the watchful eye of their mother or their father. God, we pray that you would grab them, them right now in the name of in Jesus. The name. Yes. Yes. Lord. Allow them to remember the things that they were taught at home, Lord God. Yes. We pray for children who are going back to middle school 
in high mm -hmm. school and mm -hmm. lower school, Lord God. We pray, God, yes. as drugs of fentanyl and, mm. and all these other things that are so yes. readily available to oh, them. Lord God, we pray yes. that you would protect Some them in the name of yes. Jesus. God, please watch over our watch families, over, God, in the name watch over Lord. our families, Lord Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. On our families, Lord Jesus. God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now, God, we are praying for mm. lost family members. Yes. Lost Lord. physically, Lord. Lord God, but lost. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus, save yes. our sons, save yes. our daughters, Lord yes. Jesus. Save our brothers and our sisters. Yes. Lord God, save yes. our mothers and our fathers, yes. our grandparents yes. and our grandchildren. If yes. each one yes. does not know you in the pardoning of their sins, oh, yes. we yes. pray for their salvation right now in the name yes. of the Lord. Yes, Father. God, we thank you. We thank, thank you, God, Jesus. because we know you hear us. Yes. Yes. Thank you, God, because you're not sick of hearing from us, that you My are too occupied. To, to stoop down and and ear hustle in our Zoom prayer. Yes, Lord. We thank you, God. Thank you. We love us so much that you are so pleased with us taking this time out to come together as a church family. Yes. Just call upon your name. Your yes. word says that if we call upon your name, yes. you answer. doesn't say that you might answer. Yeah. We'll answer. Oh, we'll answer. We'll answer. Oh, yes. God, we thank you right now for answering. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you right now for hearing Hallelujah. our prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Whether we feel you moving or not, God, we know that you are moving. Yes. You yes. are with yes. us. Yes. Yes. God, we commit all of our cares and all of our concerns to you. Yes. Yes. Uh, the name. Prayer for the remaining moments of this evening. God, please prepare our hearts and minds for worship. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. We gather together in the same space mm -hmm. in person or virtual. When we gather tomorrow in yes. the same space, God, let us not be occupied with other thoughts. Mm -hmm. on, on the television with yes. seeing our breakfast if we're watching from home. Lord God, let us be together in one mind yes, in right. one body connected yes, yes, by the yes. power of your holy spirit yes, oh, yes. move upon us and grant us an experience mm -hmm. that lets us understand just how wonderful and how gracious you yes, are yes, mm -hmm. yes. God, we will rest tonight in the sufficiency of your grace yes. we enjoy mm -hmm. the remaining Moments of our evening, Lord God, and lay our heads down to down rest, to rest and pray that, you that you would watch over, over that, you that you would protect, protect us, us and keep us in the oh, name of Jesus. Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Before we close, before we close, let me just let you know that um, we have a problem with our YouTube account. And so tomorrow you will not be able to watch service on YouTube. You mm. will be able to watch it on Facebook. But you will not be able to watch it on YouTube until we get through this technical issue with YouTube that we'll be dealing with on Monday. So we want to see you in person. Amen. 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 I gave you to make it in person. Amen. It will not be on YouTube tomorrow. Go to Facebook if you're going to watch from home and oh. watch on Facebook. Amen. 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 Send out a text in the morning at about 9 o'clock for all those other members who may not be on that they will know it will be on Facebook and not YouTube. Amen. God bless you guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Amen. Good night. Love you all. Love you. Love you in the name of Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. We'll get you next time, Mother Amy. Thank you. Thank you. Get off. Sorry, you guys couldn't hear me. <laughs> and look how much I'm talking right now. Nothing but the devil. <laughs>
to till next time. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. Great job, Great job Albert. Albert. Yes. Great. Excellent, Albert. Thanks a lot.